Hi all, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today I had the Wagner Smart Sidekick and this is a powered continuous roller system uh, for painting. Now Wagner you might know from like the outdoor sprayers and also other painting products. So what this does, it's, it is powered, so it plugs into the wall and it will sit next to the paint can. Tube goes in and then obviously another tube that's gonna deliver the paint and it's gonna go through the roller system here and you can continuously deliver the paint to the roller without having to go back and forth to a tray and thus reducing spillage. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give this a shot, I'm gonna set it up. I watched a couple of videos from Wagner to see how to do it. It looked very easy, it's very straightforward. You can see what's in the box in one of the, uh, the unboxing video, but um, it looks very straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and get this set up and uh, we're gonna see how it performs. There it is right there. What we're going to do is we're going to set the paint can on it. And this moves up and down. So by setting the paint can right on it, it's going to almost like lock it in place. So there's that. Go ahead and take that. Put it right down in there. You want it to touch the bottom, it said. So now it's touching the bottom. So now it's touching the bottom. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually using an extension roller. So that will just screw in. Any extension should work on the bottom of this. That screws in. That's in there. And I'll go ahead, take that, put that in. And now you don't have to use it actually in the roller plate like traditional. So you squeeze these two here, these two little tabs and then it locks in place. Once I'm ready, then we can go ahead and we can start it and we can see how it works. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the Wagner Sidekick here. And all I did was plug it into a normal electric outlet. It's into the paint, tube is all the way down. We're plugged in here, everything is attached. Let's go ahead, we'll turn it on. You can see the paint coming up. And going down into the tube, it's going to fill up the tube here. And it's going around the tube. And filling up the tube. Now I can go ahead and press the button right here to release some of the paint. And the paint's already coming through a little bit. Now that's it. So you gotta press it for the paint to start and stop. So that button is an on off button uh, for the continuous feed. So let's give that a try. Okay, so the pump works when you turn this on. So it is just a traditional on and off button. So when you need more, then you can use it. I thought it would actually automatically stop. Rolling nice, put a little bit more on there. Very easy to do. And you just keep doing it as much paint as you want to come out. And when you're ready for more, you just hit it. Okay, so in about 10 minutes, maybe a little bit less, I was able to paint this one wall, obviously with the first coat of paint using the Wagner Smart Sidekick. It went really well. Unfortunately, the handle that I put in, the extension handle, was a piece of junk, not Wagner's, but that didn't uh, hold, it actually snapped, so I gotta take that out. But then again, I didn't even use that much paint to do the first coat, which was nice. Um, just remember on and off as you want more paint or to stop it. The only thing I will say is that because of the tube, it has a little bit of a downforce, so when you're getting higher up, you might wanna get a step stool, but it's really not that much. But very easy to do. I'm gonna continue around the rest of the room and um, I'll do some shots and let you know how it's going. It's going good, very easy to do. Make sure that you have enough paint on there because otherwise you're gonna be pressing too hard. But 
Otherwise, it comes out nice and easy. Rolls right on. I mean, I'm already halfway done with the room here for the first coat. And that was only uh, maybe 20 minutes. And of course, like most jobs, it's extremely hot in the room, even though the window's open. Why not pick the hottest day, right? This, com this totally beats going back and forth to the stupid paint tray. Back and forth, back and forth, never enough. It's a real pain. But this, I'm telling you, if you're gonna be doing either one room, or for sure, if you're doing multiple rooms, something like this is really the way to go. I'm coming over here to one of the last walls. Um, again, it's going really well. Still plenty of, uh, still plenty of paint left. So it doesn't even look like it's, uh, it's using about the same amount that I'd be using in a tray. So just give some more paint. There you go. Right on. And by no means am I any type of professional painter. This is not one of my favorite pastimes at all. So using a system like this really beats the other way. It's only been about a half an hour and I'm just finishing up the last wall here with the first coat. And I mean, it's really time saving, like I said before, because I'm not going back and forth to get the paint. One thing I will mention is that maybe the tube should be a little bit longer because I do have stuff in the room, like furniture that I didn't move out, that I covered. And I had to move the can and everything. So, maybe another five feet of tube. So it's been about half an hour or so. The walls are not really tacky anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply the second coat using the Wagner Smart Sidekick. Um, overall, it's going great. Everything is still going great on the second coat. And uh, still got a little bit more than a quarter of the can left on this room. It actually is going on a lot easier with the existing paint below it. And the paint that I'm using uh, is actually a Valspar. It's a Valspar Ultra paint, which um, is zero, zero VOC. As much as I like those noxious fumes, this is probably better for you. And I was actually told by the salesperson that the uh, signature, which is low VOC, is a little bit better, but I really don't see a difference between the two of them. And it works fine with the roller. It also has the primer built in too, which is nice. Saving another trip. Overall, after using the Smart Sidekick from Wagner, it really helped cut down the time of going back and forth and dipping the roller. So this was a really great thing. For one room, a small room, I'm not too sure if you really need it, but if you're doing a few rooms, it's gonna save you a lot of time and makes things really easy. The cleanup, I think maybe could have been a little bit easier, but uh, besides that, I think I'm gonna keep using this because I have some more rooms to paint and I hate painting, but not as bad as I hate taking down wallpaper. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to check out all of our videos here on YouTube and uh, visit us online at damngoodreviews.com. Take care.